Assalamu alaikum. Ashalawam. Hotel. What's good? What's good? This is your host, Musa Azakar. Bring you that heat off the mound. Hopefully you can hit it, but I doubt it. Just do me a favor. Like this video, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You will be notified every time I drop content. If YouTube will send the notifications out there. You know, I was one of uh, calling the NFL out on this malarkey. far as uh, saying it on the first week of the NFL season, singing a black national anthem and acknowledging all the blacks that the injustice been done to, they are to honor and commemorate them before the so-called national anthem. You know how I felt about that shit. This bullshit. It don't amount to shit. Another form of pacification. Now, I don't know if it's just me. Which I'm sure it's not. And I, 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 I wish my people would just stop going for shiny objects and trinkets. Sad, man. It's like the integrity is gone, man. LeBron James touched on it, but you know, I got to throw my two cents in this motherfucker too. You feel me? 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 This is just a bunch of bullshit. I'm going to find this for you all, man. This is a bunch of bullshit. To me. You know, because it don't, it don't amount to nothing. What is the purpose of having this on the court? And y'all make all these monies for these owners and not get shit out of it, but more sternness from the law, sternness from the league, and sternness from every, these journalists who berate you and say you need to go shut up and dribble, basically. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. What can you tell us about what it's going to look like inside those arenas? There are some aspects that are so familiar and some aspects that are just so different, like they have large screens all the way around the arena. In some ways, it's a wonder whether or not it'll be very cool on the TV. I think it will be. And for players, you know, whether or not it's going to be a distraction is definitely something that has come up. And then in addition to that, the benches, they almost don't even look like benches. There are chairs that are spaced out along the side of the court, each of them six feet apart, which is kind of amusing when you think of, obviously, they were just on the court really wrestling and in each other's faces and guarding each other. And don't make no fucking sense. They have to be six feet apart from each other, but the NBA is just trying to minimize any contact. Don't make no fucking sense. Let the shit go. There is also the promise that Black Lives Matter is going to be across the bottom of the court. And it is. It is there in black, bold writing. And so that is something that is going to be featured. Okay. What the fuck do they got to do about our instances right now, our circumstances right now, man? What the fuck do being some black paint on a fucking court have to do with our issues? The physical issues. Besides, you really demonstrate how you feel about them being a slave out there, riskful like a motherfucker. Then you got motherfuckers on the on a, on a panel. Yeah, man, they in a billion dollar bubble, man. They'll be all right. Capping ass, Kendrick Perkins, man. I seen you suck LeBron James. Oh my God, man! You and you, you get on TV to do that. You get on TV to do that. I'm seeing two things wrong with ESPN. Black people getting on TV, cooning, shucking and jiving, doing all that bullshit, and then you try, try to pacify with some goddamn national anthem and goddamn black paint on the motherfucking court. What the fuck has that got to do with you? Black people, you let this shit go. Let it go, man. If not, y'all just start, y'all just offer to sport and play. And I got, I used to be one of the biggest sports jockeys, my motherfucker, period. 
And I can still keep up with my little shit. You know what I'm saying? But man, fuck that shit. One of my people not getting any justice. Fuck that shit. And I wish they would fucking wake up and realize that they got the fucking power. I think they just capitulate, man, to a lifestyle. And it's sick. Peace and a bottle of hat, peace.